Japanese Temple Bell Bronze Buddhist. Okay, let's see now. Let's get to this. It's starting to get a bit late. It's a little bit past my dinner time. Uh, nearly seven. Right, now, uh, you will receive this. This is new. And this particular bell is amazing. Okay, let's... That's just where this is at. Now, let's see, um, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start? Okay, this particular bell, it's an Edo period bell. Now, the Edo period ran from 1603 to 1868. Now, this particular bell was made in, uh, inside the, the uh, Edo period were different periods of time that, that were named. And there was a, a period of time called Bunka. Now, this particular bell was made in Bunka Ni Nen, which translates to the second year of the Bunka era, and that translates to 1805. Now, what we have here, the kanji tells us, right here, that the 73rd head monk of the temple. Now, I'm not allowed to tell you which temple it came from. You know, it's all to do with the spirits and things like that. But I can tell you, it came from the prefecture. The temple is in the prefecture of Kanagawa. Now, this tells us that this belongs to... Um, a direct translation says that it's his thing. Uh, this was presented to him, the head monk, which is the 73rd head monk of the temple. Um, at the end of his tenure, this here, uh, not unlike uh, what you see on, let me just place that there, not unlike what you see on, say, um, the tang of a, a katana. What they'll do is they'll get these stamps and, and they'll place this in. Now, the end of his tenure, it tells us he uh, his tenure was from uh, Bunka Ninen to Bunka Gonen uh, in September. Uh, Bunka Gonen, uh, the end of his tenure was uh, September of uh, Bunka Gonen, which was September of 1808. So his tenure ran from um, 1805, 6, 7, and some of most of 1808, which is a very short period, really, because some tenures uh, might last 10 years, 30 years, a lifetime. Now, being the 73rd head monk, I'm telling you, this temple is famous and very, very old. Um, but I can't say any more than that. <laughs> um, okay, now, uh, let's see. The at the In this particular month, or around this month of September in 1808, another bell was commissioned for the incoming 74th head monk of the temple. And this very bell, uh, at the end of his tenure, as I say, they stamped this in. Um, it's beautiful how it's done. And then this was presented to him. And the 74th head monk of the temple, um, let's see now, his name was Nomura Shirotsune. Uh, Nomura being his family name. That's it there, right there. Nomura Shirotsune. Okay, so that's the information. Uh, Bunka Ninen to Bunka Gonen was his tenure. And this is a uh, made in, in 1805. Now, let's see. Let's talk about flaws. Very little indeed. Um, it's got a bit of a nick here. Uh, you see that sometimes with bells. A uh, little, little bit of rusting there. It is bronze. But what they do is they have like a bronze composite kind of thing. Now this doesn't at all affect anything sound wise and even it doesn't penetrate enough to even give it any problems. This will last a thousand years, not a problem. Um, now even if it did penetrate in 500 years time or something in this particular area anyways, it wouldn't affect the sound. Okay, now uh, I'm getting, oh, look how just fantastic it is, isn't it? I'm, it only occurred to me a while back that these in likelihood are emperor seals. Now, don't quote me on that, but I, I do feel that that would be what they are. 
no cracks, no internal cracks. It's fantastic. I'll get around and get a bit more light on that. I'll get some some photos on that. Up top here, the dragon. It's got some really amazing, cool, sharp spikes coming out. These, uh, they just, just magically cool. Okay, now let us get this particular implement and the moment you've been waiting for. Still resonating. That was the slightest of strikes. I'm using just the, the edge there. And the edge, as you can see, that chamfer. Strike a lot harder, but uh, I just think one, two, it's just too good, it's just too beautiful. Oh, we should do a little bit. This is one of the greatest battles I've ever had. It's a magical piece. That was a good strike. Oh, so experiment with it, you know. And uh, you find you find just just that right strike, you know. You'll find it. It's right there. It's there. <laughs> All right, there you go. So this piece here, one of the greatest bells that ever could be. And I'm so fortunate to have it in my possession. Ever so briefly, I guess. But uh, being an antique dealer, that's just what one must do. I'd love to get more photos. You could only put up 12 of these things. Uh, anyways, um, recently I uh, I went and rode my bicycle to um, the Mongolian Invasion Wall. Um, check it out on my Abari Bugyo YouTube channel thing there. And, oh, uh, these Golden Otoros, I have just recently, I just had a, a shrine just, just a little bit earlier, and uh, took some pictures and got a little video done of that too. They're really cool. Imagine having those in the garden. Right then, well, I need a feed, and that's pretty much, I reckon that'll be pretty much it for the day. This is a glorious piece, um, I'll have a reserve on it, and if I don't get the reserve, the reserve won't be much, but, uh, well, compared to what it deserves, it, it should at least get $10,000, but I won't put the reserve up much at all, um... And if it doesn't make it, then this will be mine forever. <laughs> like that. Wow. Just 